Hello and welcome to Be Open at Dover. We've got ourselves another strong field here today on Monday. We just did the ARCA race at Chicagoland, a 4.2k strength of field. Now we got a 3.4k strength of field Be Open. So I'm hoping that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't anticipate to do all too well because not only do I have my free OSR setup as usual, it's outdated. <laughs> and uh, pretty sure it's for a different track temperature. This is a little loud. Hold on a second. Okay, that was a tiny bit. Um, so yeah, the car's not set up exactly right, I'm sure. Uh, probably going to make things a little tougher on me, but not the end of the world. Just do my best out here. Hopefully have ourselves a fun, clean race. The Arca race was fantastic, so I want some more of that if we can get it. One more lap. Track seems a little bit faster than in practice. I was able to get an all-time best there, and it wasn't even good. Because <laughs> I'm only in 13th right now. Ooh, that pitched really good. I stabbed the brakes. I hadn't really tried that yet. I almost got too much rotation on entry right there. That's interesting. So, about where my pace was to begin with. Didn't go much faster, despite what seems like a faster track. Oh, tire saving is going to be something I really have to focus on here. I think what that means, probably, maybe a little bit of brake, just easing it in, not getting onto the throttle too early, <clears throat> getting that rotation. It gets pretty darn loose on exit. I could definitely see some guys looping it on exit or hitting the wall, uh, which happens a lot here at Dover. It gets really unsettled on the exits, so really have to be careful kind of like end up going up the hill here on exit and the car gets really light and it really wants to start spinning around on you so and then uh if by chance we do end up with green flag pit stops very tricky here but i think i've got it down i practiced it a ton and i could feel confident in that so i'm kind of hoping as usual i'm hoping that we get some green flag pit stops but even more so here today because i feel like i could probably do a good job with it and uh, could gain some positions potentially with some good execution because you see a ton of penalties here trying to get on a pit road you see a nice handful of guys pummel these barrels so i don't want to wish that on anybody but it, it's something that could definitely happen i'm right next to noah on pace he was faster in the practice but it looks like pretty similar here so I, I can't feel too bad about that, because I know he's crazy fast. Pretty much everybody is qualified. We're just waiting on a couple people to waste their time, I guess. Two wants to set his lap and be like, I don't even need my second lap. I don't know the guy. I'm probably attributing thoughts that do not belong to him, but... <sighs> we are not so fast on qualifying speed. But we are the number nine. So top ten would be fantastic. That would be definitely a uh, goal achieved, a top ten here today. Top fifteen, I think, session. would be just fine as well. So I'm kind of in my range that I'm happy with. Maybe we could even just say, like, top half of the field. I'd probably be pretty happy with that. So that's uh, maybe what I'll aim for. And uh, we are ready to go. Let's make sure everything's set up. I also don't have like a qualifying setup. So I have a free setup that's outdated. That's a race setup and not qualifying setup. So if you... <laughs> that's uh, probably a couple of reasons why my qualifying speed's not so great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it just in addition to not being very fast. So I guess that's reason number four. I'm not very fast. But the race is what matters. Maybe I'll uh, 
keep an eye on Noah, see how he's do going about saving tires and such. Tires usually very important here. I don't think I've ever done this combo before them. I don't know if I've ever driven the B car on at Dover, which was kind of surprising. I didn't have a time before I did practice, so that leads me to believe I haven't done this before, but I could have just forgotten, and uh, those times got deleted for one reason or another. But it feels new to me. I know I've done the trucks and the 87s here plenty, but maybe not the B car. I'm just glad that the schedule changed here on Monday. Not so many super speedways. Lots of, su lots of stuff I'm willing uh, and excited to drive. I think, uh, where were the uh, 87s? I just saw it and now I don't remember where it said they were. Maybe I can look it up real quick before the uh, start of this one. Just for conversation's sake. <laughs> but, uh, Maybe I'll get a chance to do those, I don't know. Th that series has been giving me major headaches lately. It would look like... They're at Las Vegas. Interesting. So maybe I'll give that a try and probably sorry. deal with a horribly under-steering car. Of course, saying sorry and we haven't even gotten off the grid yet. No idea what's happening. Pace speed usually pretty low here. Is it a first gear start? It's kind of looking that way. Hmm. Kind of get started quick here at Dover. Not a huge track. Mic check. And uh, we're one to green. Got it. Get ready, going green. Hoping guys will be somewhat patient. We'll see. Alright, we are just kind of not going. Kind of check up on the bunch. I didn't take one. Still there, hold your line. Nothing Real loose on the high line there. Don't really want to be on the outside, but I'm here anyway. Yeah, you can't just go on the green. No, my bad, dude. I can't control. Clear inside. Yeah, it might have been my fault. I don't know. I was thought I was gonna hold my line. Okay. Idea what uh, happened? Sorry, man. I got the replay. The leader's just done it. Yeah, I didn't mean to come down in. The they damn oil all jacked up out of this shit. Okay, Colton. No weapons on left. You're just rolling through the corners. We survived that start, which was pretty darn intense. Is that a lap car already that has damage? Probably from that start. Oh. I don't know why he's rolling the bottom, that's kind of annoying. Car inside, clear. Seriously, what are you doing? Guys are really mad at each other already. Whoa, guy bouncing off the wall, lap car. That's scary. This is, uh, this got scary quick. Uh oh, smoke. I don't know if I've had a lap that hasn't had something scary yet. <laughs> this, uh, sure has been action packed. Already. We're in the top ten. That's cool. Mike, if my ass end like really smashed in. I'm really trying to be patient with the throttle. Uh, I'd say about thirty seconds. Awesome. Love having a parachute before you can get the green. Hmm. Yeah, so it's fun.
Still trying to kill me on exit. I imagine just about everybody's dealing with that, though. It's kind of just a Dover specialty. Trying to get the car turning on throttle. I don't know if I'm doing a good enough job with it, though. I'm, I'm, I'm a little uncertain how well I'm going to do on tires. Don't know quite what to expect. Oh, those guys are getting together. Holy cow. That's scary. Oh, he's dead. This man is dead. Is that going to be caution or no? Looks like he was below the apron. In front of him, I think he was letting me go, but I had to send it hard. Harder, hard ish, because I wanted to clear him. I didn't want to be side by side. No apology. Too long. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, this uh, escalated quickly, this whole race. No cautions yet, though, somehow, with all the nonsense we've seen. Feels pretty darn good, to be honest. Oh, no, no, uh,. I didn't realize he was in some of the mess. That sucks. I always kind of root for him. I know he's a uh, viewer of Nick, and I remember in the past you did a lot of the first week uh, Arca and stuff. He's just usually pretty great racer, very fast. So he's one of the good ones. So I always root for him. Four chance looks like he had some trouble this time. So I guess we're doing okay. I mean, we're in eighth. Doing good. Keep it up. Hey, thanks. My uh, spotter says I'm doing good. I trust my spotter. He's usually pretty reliable. So I guess I'm doing good. Seems like turn four gets even more tight than turn two on exit. Really wants to put you up in that wall. I think we're gaining on this 19 just a bit. And lots of throttle modulation through the middle of the corner. You know, trying to maintain a little bit of speed while not being on the right front too much and then getting on the throttle once I get most of the way through the corner, try to get on the right rear. Kind of just feeling what the car is doing, how it's reacting through the force feedback and stuff. Kind of just decide uh, when I need to be pushing through the corner. Kind of feeling it out, you know. Probably not the best way to do it, but... Oh, he's just going to let me by. That was very nice of him. I think he might be quitting. That's weird. I wonder if he's blowing an engine or something. Maybe he has Q-tape on it or something. That's strange. Well, that might have been one of the easiest passes I've ever had to make. So that's cool. He just left. He must. I think he must have uh, left the Q tape on it or something. Time was That's my guess. And his engine was blowing up. Liking this so far, though. We could get that green flag pit stop. I was really hoping we could get. Not there yet, but seventh place. Definitely am happy about that. Like I said, I'm just hoping for top half of the field. So, right now it's looking pretty good in that regard. Alright, it's getting tighter. Try not to let it uh, want to fly up into the wall. I really liked Dover, actually. Uh, I've really grown to like it over time. I just I enjoy how it races a lot. I like the high banking. And the uh, exits of these corners kind of remind me of Darlington Turn 2. Just without the narrowness, but it kind of gives that feeling of narrowness. Cause it kind of really gets set in a certain line and wants to push you up into the wall. So you kind of have to get out ahead of that. And it makes it pretty fun to drive. You really got to stay on top of things. 
tires usually matter a whole lot here, which makes for some fun racing. So, I enjoy this place. You've just done it. We are finishing up lap 20 here in just a moment. I just assume we'll go halfway if this thing goes green and then come into the pits. Maybe I'll see how the tires are feeling. 8.1 gallons needed. I might go a little longer just because it's such a tough pit road. Might have guys crashing trying to get onto pit road. So, exactly halfway would be 55. I missed the corner completely right there. That's not good. It's actually going to be not so much slower because of being able to get a better exit, but I think I was hard on the right front on entry there, so I don't want to do that anymore. Ooh, I want to snap on exit still. Anyway, like I was saying, um, 55 is the true halfway mark, but I think... I probably want to come in more like 68, something like that. So that way if guys plan on hitting the wall, the pit wall barrels, <laughs> while they're coming into the pits and causing a caution, they can go ahead and do that first. I'm getting super tight all of a sudden. I think I might migrate up the track so that way I can angle the exit a little bit better. So I'm not necessarily liking how this is feeling. To adjust my line a little bit, maybe drive in a tiny bit harder and do more of a diamond line just so I can get the exits a little bit better because it's feeling a little bit too tight on exits for me right now. That's not really what I want. The car in front of us is, now Schmidt. is this a bad idea? I don't know. Probably not the best idea for the tires, but hitting the wall is not the best idea for the tires or the rest of the car for that matter, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like I'm going to do if I keep doing that low line and feeling so pushy on exit like I am, so. Just want to try to get a better angle on the exit of the corners. That's what I'm looking for here. I don't know if we have anything for that top six. They're pretty far ahead up there. Come on, back, okay. Okay. Fourteen's kind of holding strong, might be catching us just a tiny bit. Feels like I get good rotation doing that on exit. Maybe this isn't such a bad line to take. That was way too hot up the track, though, right there. And it was good at Dover. I said it was fun. <laughs> there is a difference. Oh, and there's a That sucks. And it is a lap car. Really, they throw a caution for that, but they didn't throw one for our wreck. That guy looked like he was below the apron, but oh well. Eight gallons. Eight gallons. Ooh, it's pretty darn close. What is this guy doing? It's pretty darn close on fuel. That's going to be interesting. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Pit car entering three. Alright, definitely coming in for pits. Or for tires. Coming in the pits for tires is what I'm trying to say. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear. This guy's not catching up to the guy ahead for some reason. The leader's pitting now. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. We think we'll need to stop again. Taking a uh, wave around out there. Pit box team, 10. Wow, that five really does have a lot of damage in the rear end. Three. Two, one, right here. 8079, all right. If anyone shares, I'll share mine as well. 
and six and five. I feel pretty good about that. We're done. Get going. I believe we gained some, some spots here, maybe. Looked like it. I think the guy that had the damage on the rear end maybe took some time to fix some of it. We got some guys. Did they stay out? No, those are the way around. Okay. So I think everybody ahead of us took tires. It's our open. That's actually going to be ahead of us. On green. Pretty happy with the tires there. 80, 79. Hopefully it's not a case where both of the right sides are both worn out, but... I'm going to assume that's pretty decent. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Why? I don't know. 94, 83. Oh. What place is he in? Eighth. Huh. <laughs> well. 75, 76. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. That's the leader, so. Okay, I'm not feeling too bad. Seems like everyone's getting a, some wildly different numbers. But I'm okay with what I'm seeing. So we're going to be P5. Alright, on the inside. I like that. Why am I not saving fuel? Oh, I'm being a little nerd and not saving fuel. We need to save a gallon. I should have been saving fuel that whole time. I feel like I should be able to save that much even if we go green to the end. Zero point eight Certainly could have made it easier on myself by saving some right now instead of having to do it on track. Although if we make it all the way to the end, we're going to be so much slower on pace, I think it shouldn't be any trouble at all to make it. But that's just a guess. So that was first gear start. Let's see here. Hopefully we'll be able to see the leader pretty well. Had a weird start, initial start. Some guys are rear-ending each other. I hope that doesn't happen to us. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Hey. Take it. You're in fifth. Oh, I think a guy behind us just got in the wall. Long way to go. So I don't need to tear the tires off this thing. Gonna ease it in the corner. Gentle throttle through middle. And once I can get on the right rear, I'll get on it. Feeling pretty good. Top five. How about that? I did not expect to be up here. We'll see if it lasts. But I certainly like the like the track position we have right now. Trying to turn my wheel as little as possible. Got a pass attempt ahead. Looks like Mike in the six is just gonna let him go on by. 
Smart move, probably doesn't want to fight side by side at all. Hey, this setup's working pretty darn good for being free and outdated. Shout out to OSR, doing a good job. There's a little bit of a scare recently because they uh, all of a sudden the links to all of their setups were kind of gone and they had like an advertisement for a setup shop and we're like oh no they've been bought out they're just sending everybody to pay for setups somewhere else now but turns out they were just uh, in the middle of reconfiguring their website so things are easier to find and everything's still there so sigh of relief we still have our wonderful resource old school racing forums <laughs> everybody was a little concerned in like uh, Nick and Gavin's discords We're like oh no our setups <laughs> Not all of us have a Daniel to send us super fast setups, so we got to do the OSR setups. Somehow there's two seconds behind us. I wonder if they were racing side by side and maybe got checked up on each other or something. I like having this space though. Getting some great rotation right now. I love it. Okay, Colton. Your water and your oil are both looking pretty hot right now. Water and the oil. I guess I'll check on that in a minute. That up. We'll see what it's saying. Pretty aggressive tape on this thing. 70%. Of course, it's early in a run, so there's more throttle time, which means more engine heat. Or, you know, heat in general through all the components. But, uh, we'll keep an eye on it, see what it's saying. Don't want to end up like that one guy early in the race with this Q-tape. I'm assuming what happened there. Blowing his engine. Still gaining on the guys behind. There's that 5, who was much faster. Even with his damage, he might be on his way back up to us. Eventually. Oh yeah, look at that oil temp. It's getting in the orange now. Alright. I see you. I see you. Take it easy. It's still just in the warning zone in the orange, like that. It's not um it's not an actual critical temperature that could cause failure. I think once it turns red is whenever that starts being a problem. You'll notice the actual in car isn't doing anything yet. If you're unfamiliar the oil temp and water temp down here, they uh, they will start flashing red once they reach that dangerous part. Even if you're not looking at your dash down here. So, temperatures are getting hot, but still not dangerous. Worth keeping an eye on. But I think it's only going to continue going down. I think it's kind of peaking at 276 or so right now. And not going much higher than that. And it's only going to get cooler as the run slows down. So I think I'm okay. Well, that guy's not okay, though. He's cooking his engine. Interesting. So I'm not the only one with a, a bit of aggressive tape, maybe. If you can last these early laps with a little bit of aggressive tape, and even if it's getting pretty worrisome, if you can outlast that and just ease off a little bit later in the run, then push a little harder, there might be something to that, because you can save tires at the same time. I don't know, just uh, brainstorming here. <laughs> Just keeping it smooth. Feels just fine right now, the car does. I'll stay high later. Got lap traffic being caught by the leaders. See, the temperature's already going down. Oil temp 274 at maximum after the front stretch. Down from about 276. It's looking like we're probably fine. So that's good news. 
can uh, focus on driving now, which I should have been the whole time anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, here comes that five. I knew he'd be up. But, oh, no, 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 no apron. Apron's really bad here. If you hit the apron here, it'll send you right up to that wall if you don't lift off, so I can't do that anymore. Schmidt is really you the gaps now. I'll be letting this five by very easily. You've just done it. 24.6. Outside. Clear high. Mm. Got tight down there. I was lower on the track than I like to be. I'm gonna go high here. Car inside. Clear inside. He's flying up on us. Gives us the silent thank you. Sixth place. That's what that means if someone queues up and doesn't say anything. It either means A, their mic's not working, or B, that's just a silent thank you. You queue up the mic, don't say anything, and people know. That's just uh, an easy way to say thanks. Never knew that. I, it took me a year about into being into iRacing before I found that out. So the car's getting tight, but... Don't seem like we're too crazy off pace. We are to the uh, five there, but the five looks really fast. We're still kind of keeping up with the six car ahead. About the same, similar speed to him. Oh, it's so tight at a four though. Maybe I'm not similar speed. Maybe I've hurt the tires. No. It's really incredible how different the car feels in 2 compared to 4. Usually the, it feels pretty similar, right? Like, I don't feel like it's normally much of a different feeling. It definitely is feeling much tighter out of 4. I'm going to try to migrate up the track a little bit, kind of like I did last run. I think it's about that time again. Yeah, I'm liking that. Really not wanting to turn though in three and four. Smith is now in the lead. Hmm. Got a lead change. Smith is now in the lead. Three took it from the four, I guess. Oh, got too low again. I am. I need to get back into the rhythm. I've kind of stunk up the place the last couple of laps. We're halfway in the right. Just now halfway. 0 0.5, okay. we can make that. It's fine. Especially falling off the pace like we are. Okay, that's more the line I need to be hitting there. And at it for uh, turn four. Looks like this 10 car is going to reach us. So I'm not doing a great job, long run. Not terrible though, I'm still, I mean, I'm still in 6th place right now, even if I end up in 7th. Still well within my goals. So I will not be complaining. You will hear no complaints about all that. Man, this car's fun to drive out of turn two, though. It's still getting pretty loose out of turn two. It's pretty fun to drive. It's just turn four. Ugh. Ugh. It feels like I'm going so slow. It's killing me. And again, I don't even know why. It, it, you, usually they, they seem pretty similar to me, the like corners do, but... That's what I'm feeling. Probably let the 10 go here in just a moment. Not quite there yet. I don't know, he's not flying up on me quite like the other guy did. Still out here, logging laps. 
I cannot believe how tight the car is getting out of four. Wall, just to help out a little bit more. Okay, it's going a little bit higher now. Into one, I think he's probably trying to set up a run. Don't think it worked for him though. Just gonna wait for this guy to get a nose on me and then I'll let him go. Right on my rear end. Go this time. Inside. Clear. Got loose on exit. I don't know if I'm being right on my tail end. Helped out with that or if I just got loose because that's what happens in turn two. Maybe a combination of both, but uh, after getting loose there, him being right behind me, uh, no reason to put that off any longer. He was going to get around me eventually. Oh god, the car feels terrible. Disappointing. I thought I was doing okay after the first run on tires. It looked like they were doing okay. And then fast forward to here, I feel like my right front's dead. Even though I, th I thought I did the same thing. I think I front is now I'm just moving right along. Seventh place at the moment. Got the two car flying up on us. He's gonna get around. He's going lightning speed. The gap behind is now 1.0. That lap time was 25.1. Okay. Feels like it's getting a little bit looser, maybe. So maybe I've done a good job backing off the right. Okay. Backing off the right front, I was gonna say, and then I put it in the wall. So it gets that Xfinity wiggle, and uh, can't be wiggling when we're already up against the wall. That's not helping anybody. So no more of that, please. I'm just kind of stinking right now. Actually went lower that time. Kind of worked out. And I'll try that again. I was definitely being moody, because it was really tight just a second ago. Now it's kind of getting a little loose, which when I kind of when I'm able to harness that, it's kind of it's faster a little bit, but not necessarily comfortable to drive either, especially in the exit of two, because that was always a little bit looser than other parts of the track. Alright, then that felt tight again. Okay, I'm almost self spinning. That was pretty bad. Uh, I'm looking like an idiot out here. Let this guy buy easy since I'm making stupid mistakes. It's getting really tough to control. Uh, 
lap time was 25.3. <laughs> it's really trying to kill me on exit. I'm gonna let this guy go. Car inside. Clear inside. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a, too much of a handful right now. To be doing that in front of him. So, I just, I could see that spelling disaster. And again, another guy that's going to get around me eventually anyway. So no reason not to let him just go on by. I'm sure he was tired of seeing me get scary loose in front of him over and over. Hmm. So can we hold on to 8th? 3.1 gallons, we're good on fuel. We need to worry about that. We got two seconds behind us. Hands are hurting. I really have to grab this wheel. It's really uh, throwing me for a loop. So we're not catching anyone ahead, unfortunately. No one's falling off quite as much as I am. Guy behind's catching just a little. Try my best not to let him catch me before the end of this thing. But we do have quite a few laps left still. Traffic coming up. 12. Hopefully we can get around him pretty quick. Car outside. Consistent. No. Uh oh. Big red. Make sure that's clear before we get there. <sighs> I don't even know how that happened. It was on the middle of the straightaway. Was there a bunch of lap cars? I, uh, I had to walk the wrong thing down. Sorry, 18. Whoever else got in. I don't see any lap guys with damage. So, obviously tires. I just barely missed it. I know that. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperature is okay. Catch up. All clear on engine temperature. Yeah, come on, guys. I'm rolling my right front is fucked. Oh, 10 4. Yeah, I got the 18. Crash into the 18, I take I there. see. 10 did get damage. Half that 12. Cut. This guy's about to give him a black flag. Give himself a black flag. We'll Alright, not much that guy could do about that. He's got a broken car. Oh well. Right here. Little bit of optional. 50 48. I'm probably just killing both tires, I guess. That's what just happened at Chicago Land and Arca too. Just killing all the tires. Move it, move it. Speed. Don't speed, I said. Jesus. Take it easy, man. You only have hey, we made it out ahead of the two. Alright. So, a pretty good stop there, I think. Get the five, car. Now. Shorter run to the end. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure how much we should be uh, saving tires. I think I might just have to go. 
to be honest. So we get some more cautions. We're going to really want that track position. It might just be go time. And even though it's, uh, what is that? 18, 28, 28 plus laps. Did anybody uh, get on peel by chance? Yeah, yeah. I was about four laps on peel. Yeah, I was good on fuel. Okay. Be kind of surprised if someone wasn't. Felt like I was just fine, but uh, eighty-six yeah, fifty. Oh, Jesus, I don't think I've ever given a overrun. That would have been that one. You guys drifting around the corners. Yeah, I was kind of curious to see what my car was going to do there toward the end. Uh, she's getting a little loose, but I don't think I would have got you. But just wanted to see if they could maintain. Huh. 5048, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if anybody would start blowing tires towards the end. It's are open. I was worried. Yeah, I cooked the right rear, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, it felt like I cooked a lot worse than that. Loose, but I don't know how this is going to go. I didn't feel like I had very good qualifying speed, which makes me worry about my short run speed. I was doing okay at race pace, but yeah, I agree. I think everyone's going to turn it up a notch here, and I don't know how yeah, I'm going to be able to keep up with that. Yeah, I feel like I got a little rip and slip deal going on, like, it feels great, and it just slips up about a half a car, I gotta wait, then get back to the gas, and at that point, you've already gapped a half a pen. Over. Awesome. Frustrating at the same time. Alright, P6. Give it our best. Hopefully, uh, we can bring it to the end clean. This could get messy, though. I'm, I'm a little worried. We'll see. About to go green. Stay focused. Coach car is off. Replay green. green. Man, my starts are terrible. Wow, that was off here. What's wrong with me? Why was that so bad? Or what was that? Ooh, the two's flying in. He looks like he's ready to run in the back of somebody. Or get loose on the exit. Uh, Alright, slow it down. Don't wear my tires anymore this corner. Bobby, every race, man. You either have the worst luck. This is why I'm trying to go right now. I think we could get more cautions. The time's gonna run out pretty quick. I was driving is what I was doing. I was trying to go. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Sorry, I'm slow, man. I don't have damage, so, you know. All right. Well, we had somebody pit back there. In fact, we had a it handful like of people. Airborne, like he was Holy cow! There's not very many people left. How many people have been crashed out? Oh, wait a second. Where'd everybody go? I didn't realize there were only 14 people on the lead lap. That's crazy. Over half the field's lap plus down. And then we just had another guy get on the lead lap, I think. But wow. Okay, I did not realize that. I guess we're pretty lucky that we're still here.
I don't know why my restart was so bad. I felt like I jumped about as soon as I could. Did I spin the tires a little bit? Do I need to be easier on the throttle? Yeah, maybe. I think I spun them up a little bit. Oh well. So if we make it clean to the end, I, I guess we're guaranteed that top 15. I thought I said that I would be okay with. I'd like to do a little bit better than that, but... It's as long as I don't crash. Not very many people left on the lead lap here. Got 15 now on the lead lap. Ah, excuse me, with the lucky dog. Very interesting. Closed. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. So we had some guys uh, looking a little bit scary on exit, getting real loose. They held on to it, but we got a couple check checkups related to that. I have to make sure I don't loop myself on exit with how light it gets. Got to be real careful. Be on the inside this time because we did lose a position to the two. feel too bad about that though. 6.8 KI rating makes sense if you finish ahead of me. Alright, come into one to go. Get this thing back started. The five sure has been uh, doing just fine with all that damage. It looks like he's really dented up on the rear end, but he's still plenty fast. Go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Alright. Try to get a better start this time. I'm still thinking it's a first gear start. Second just seems too bogged down. I think I'm just gonna... I'm not going to smash it as much. Maybe spin the tires a little bit less, get a little more grip, and actually get this thing moving forward. These guys are definitely practicing first gear. Ready, going green. I can hear other first gears. <laughs> the pace car is in. Green, 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 green. Uh, still a bad start. I don't know, man. Clear up the car outside. Keep low. Hello. Guy in the way on my outside, that's scary. Yikes. Survived that though, thankfully. Seventh position. Hmm. Not quite. Tried to get on his inside there, but he powered off real, real well. Oh, got... Oh, I was going to say I got past him just in time, but I guess the scoring leap was back there, and he got to go by, past me again. Can you not rack him back on track in front of everyone else? Ah, <sighs> man. That sucks. I'm just about to pass him. We're starting some of that for your Jetstar 6 car. Yeah, wouldn't be too bad if they didn't have a broken service model. Jetstar 6 car. 
Pit road's open. Pits are open. Yeah, so took a while as fuel, so I'm slamming that splitter now. She's going in a little too hard, too. Yeah, I only got 10 gallons, so uh -huh. with my adjustments, I'm pretty loose. Given that there's not too many people on the lead lap, there might be a case where we get a ca another caution at just the right time. Maybe I try going for it. I don't know. That seems pretty risky, but maybe I could pull in the guys behind me as well. I think we, we need another uh, decent-ish run here for that to do anything, though. I think if I do take tires, maybe I take two tires because after that very very long run 9287 on the left imagine with uh, how few green laps we're doing here left side's got to be doing just fine things to consider it's a first gear start I don't know why my starts are so terrible though Okay, that's definitely spinning it up though, so I gotta gotta be easier on it. Four course yellow, pits are open. Hmm, still in seventh. The uh, guys ahead shuffled a little bit, but I am still in seventh. I felt like we could have been one degree in here, but oh well. I'm just eager. It's gonna get even more and more sprinty as we get near the end of this thing. Everybody's wanna, gonna wanna go, go, go. Not much tire saving to be had. Looking at my info. A little worried the guys ahead might get into each other. They're racing real hard. They haven't yet, but you never know. And this thing's coming to a close. Two guys pushing it as hard as they can, taking every inch, and then suddenly there aren't any inches left to spare. I'm worried it could be difficult to avoid a wreck here at Dover if it happens in the wrong spot. I really gotta keep my eyes open. One left to green. You'll be lining up okay. on the, the guy with damage, but he hasn't been hurting at all. That guy's just gonna exit a closed pit, I guess. Down there. I'm going to be gentle on the throttle here, see if that is any better. really do feel like I'm spinning up the tires. Even last time I said I was going to go easier on it, but I still felt like I did it. I smashed the gas a little bit too hard. Alright. Will this be our final restart? I can't see a darn good thing. Get ready, going green. Watch your wheels, Ben. Good idea. Hide car is off. Green, green, green. Oh yeah, okay, that was a little bit better that time. Not great, better. They're three wide ahead of us.
Oh, he's gonna get me on the outside. I don't think I have anything for him down here. Man, stuck him in the wall there. Uh, that was pretty close. I'm letting I'm off. I'm letting off because that was way too close. <sighs> Trying to go. I just I didn't have anything for him. I pushed pretty tight there. I don't know if he actually hit the wall, but I didn't give him enough room, I don't think, so just let him by. Alright, I don't think I'm going anywhere. I think the guys ahead are just too fast. You've just done it, twenty-three point six. Thankfully, got some room behind. I think might be able to hold on to seventh. We'll see. Spread out pretty well up ahead, although we do maybe have a battle for the win up there, still brewing. They're pretty close by. I just definitely don't have the short run speed. I mean, we saw in qualifying I did not get the job done. It's the 6. Gonna make a pass here on the 7. Are side by side. I'm in the wall. Darn you, Dover. So easy to get in the wall. No harm done, though, I don't think. Ooh, six a little bit up the track. That's probably what I looked like, to be fair. Probably not giving much room. Five left to go. Okay, Colton, the next car is Bottoms. Hmm. Oh. We're down to it. Even side by side, I'm not really catching these two guys. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Trying though. Well, now I kind of got a good run down the straight here. I'm trying to do something a little bit different, just rolling into the corner, no brakes. No brakes on this train. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe that hurt the uh, seventh tires real bad being out there for so long. You would think so. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's looking scary. Sorry. Oh, good, Mary. Gone. That guy's tire's gone. It's okay, checking everybody right. up. We got smoke up ahead. Please don't step on track. Outside. Going for it. Guy in the wall ahead. My goodness. Three wide. Still 
Are we still three wide? We're not three wide, are we? Clear up, cop. Car outside. Good one, bud. Still there. Dang, he got me. <laughs> that was fun though. Like that was some good racing there. Whoa, that got intense. Nice run, solid work. What's that, bud? It's probably the most fun I've had in a while. That got pretty crazy at the end. Good race, good win. <laughs> I'm glad he had fun. That was uh, we hit some doors a little bit, but no harm done. I don't think that was just it got real tight. I had to enter very shallow into turn one at one point. I had to get on the brakes pretty good. Whoa, yeah, I just want to watch those last yeah, couple of laps. Kind of go back and watch a few of them. We just all were on top of each other for a little bit there. I had a little bit of a run, got on the inside of them there. And then I remember the four, I think it's the wall right here. And I knew the seven wasn't going to want to lift. So that's why I was like, I have to assume I'm going to be three wide here in about half a second. Having a, kept an eye on the four and saw him hit the wall, I'm like, I have to assume the seven's going to dart left to try to go around him. So I have to give him room. And so you'll see, I moved to the left in anticipation. Uh, first and then unfortunately I have to enter down here that. because of that. So I get on the brakes so much harder than you normally need to. Which is not fast, but I also didn't get in a crash. <laughs> so, Seven's giving me zero room, but it's understandable. It's the last lap right now. I got loose out of two, but I was also just so concerned that I was going to drift up. So, uh, I gave it my all, but last thing I wanted to do was get into him. He handled it really well. Pinched me pretty hard. Tapped me just a little bit, but... Uh, he did what he needed to do. It was, it was well done. So, I'll take it. I got P6 after that, because the 4 got the wall. He said his right front was gone. And, uh, <laughs> sure looked that way. But it's a, holy cow, P6? I'm just now kind of digesting it. P6 on an old, outdated, free setup. <laughs> I will take that every day of the week. 3.4 strength of field. Guys telling you all about their <laughs> paid setups. But, uh... Our ramshackle hometown team got ourselves almost to top five, so I'll take it. <laughs> After the little final run there, uh, just with a, not so many green lamps, 89, 92. Very clearly I was pushing harder, so I was going to be on the right front. Whew, that was fun. That definitely got intense near the end. We will see uh, what happened out here. Lots of people apparently in accidents because you'll see only 11 people on the lead lap at the end. So we're going to see plenty of mess, I think. Uh, what happened here? The Days of Thunder right there just didn't go at all. What's happening here? He's like in fourth gear or something. Completely snoozing. That's weird. And, uh... All that happening, Noah's like, okay, I'll go to the outside, but unfortunately, the 13's already thinking the same thing. And, for some reason, right when the race starts and it's like green, 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 the spotter usually doesn't say anything for until you get like to turn one. It's like this dead air time. And uh, so Noah might not have even just known that 13 was there. And understandably was trying to go around him. It's both of what they thought they wanted to do. And then that just was very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Just immediate crash. And uh, not much room down here. Oh, nice job, 15. Slowed that down enough. And uh, that didn't even cause a caution, I don't think. Yeah, it did not. I mean, the pace car just got off. He's like, no, I don't feel like it. I just got here. 
That's really sucks for Nova though. And the elevens upset, I guess. What did the eleven see? I mean, Noah did turn up into him, but also the guy was freaking going zero miles an hour, starting in fourth gear or something, so. Things that people could have done better all around, maybe, but honestly, the inciting reaction is a guy just not going on the start, and I, don't, I really don't think the 11 needs to be turning down and hitting Noah for it. Seems not necessary at all. Lap car being a problem, it looks like. Just go to the high side, man. Why are you taking the racing line in front of the leaders coming up a thousand miles an hour faster? And then not even holding him. Like, come on, man. You gotta get out of the way. scary. Fifth gear guy not doing anything now. 23 still having a very tough time just being a lap car. This is gonna get tight. Oof, just barely in the wall. Is that one guy here? Ah. Uh, I was going to apologize if I squeeze him in the wall, but we're not going to see that until he's probably gone later. If he's still there, I'll apologize once I get a chance to look at it. I'm not sure exactly how much room I did or didn't give him. Thankfully, I think he was okay. Ooh. Is this our first caution? Actually, I think I, this wasn't a caution. I remember, uh, I think the guy stayed down there, and so we actually stayed green. He was below the apron, I think I remember seeing this. So I'm getting the wall on entry as I'm going by him. Probably gonna be a fair number of wall hits, so I'll try to go a little bit faster through these, uh, these solo cars. Ball hits there. This guy's having a rough race. Twenty-four is still holding the bottom, I think. Or no, that's twenty-three and twenty-four are different people. Huh. For some reason, I they both have like these black cars, so I got it confused for a second. Oh boy. So what do we have here? We have two lap cars in front of the leader. Coming up on him. Taking the low line. Right in his way. I mean, the two didn't need to be all the way down there. It's pretty annoying that they're in the way, but I mean, he could have just faded out to the wall and he wouldn't have been right behind the guy. Then again, the 18 is kind of moving up the track. I think none of that needed to happen. That's the same guy that spun earlier, too. And then, does he back onto the track and cause a caution? Yes, we are under caution. Were we until he backed onto the track? Yes, we are either. So, no worries. So that guy goes for another ride. It's 
Some on pit road? I don't think so. Don't know why we're uh, seeing any of this. Heavy wall hit for the 14. Let's get past these wall hits. Keeping it moving. Alright, keeping it going. Lots of hitting the wall here. Usually the case at Dover. I got it a couple of times myself. Thankfully nothing too bad. Over halfway through the race at this point. This is during our the extra long run we had. Thought for a minute. We were gonna go to the end. Bump drafting, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. That guy was several laps down further than that guy was, I think. Here's me hitting the wall. Bit of a straight, <laughs> straightaway hit. Well, this long run was pretty darn clean, other than the wall hits, it seems. Less guys running into each other. Oops. Gets real loose into the inside wall. Looks like he keeps it going. What's seen here? Doesn't look like anything. Sixteen in the wall pretty hard. When did the caution come out? It's pretty soon here, I thought. Is it like 10 laps or so? Uh-oh, who's this guy? What's he up to? Same spot, maybe? Oh, I'm not doing anything. Just kidding. I don't hit walls. Who do you think I am, Gavin? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh, gosh. I'm not the 23, either. Except I am, because... Oh... Nope, nope. Only the 23 is the 23. Uh, he hey, uh, did not do a great job being a left car this race. So he's the one that ends our long run. Just gets in the wall and then pulls it off right into the 18. With the Xfinity wi Wiggle. Just two lap down cars. Oh, whoa, a couple guys just barely sneaking through. Oh, the 10, that's what happened to the 10. Feel like he came in there pretty late. Slow down, caution's out, slow down. Oh, you know what happened is the, uh, <laughs> the four did the uh, ole. He's holding the red cloth in front of the bowl. I, I guarantee you, you couldn't even see that car stopped right there. Oh my goodness, there's a car there. Yeah, still probably shouldn't have run into it, but I can see why it happened. So he's damaged pretty bad, and then we had to wait for him. That 84. And 17. Loses it. It snapped on him. Oh my gosh, and everybody chose wrong. Oh no. I think if everybody just went high, they would have been fine. That's the thing about this backstretch at Dover. You see it's banked, so cards slide down on the inside. Self-cleaning cleaning track, they call it. And they all find each other. Including Professor Fourth Gear. That is just about the worst place you could hit cars. <laughs> Two engines coming together. The 
Pell propels himself into the wall, and then the 24 gets into the back of him. So just lots of troubles at the back of the field in this one, I think. It just hits the wall hard, and it looks like the 24 goes after him. <laughs> He'd just taken the line normally, he would have been fine, but I don't blame him for seeing the guy hit the wall and thinking he was going to still be up there, because I don't really expect him to come off the wall like that, and they just end up in the same place. Okay, and now what are we doing? Is that on purpose, or...? That was weird. I'd be mad if I was the 16. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, though. Weird exchange right there. 15 blows a motor, right after leaving the pits. Oh, there we are, three wide up there. I forgot about this moment. I kind of want to look at this, because this is just right on the restart. We actually get a good restart, finally. They're three wide up ahead. I drive in pretty hard. Somehow end up three wide on exit. I leave room, thankfully, anticipating three wide. So we make it out alive. Oh yeah, that wasn't me. So I think the six complained at me. I was kind of focused, so I don't know what he said. I'm holding my line. See, he's in my lane, pretty much. Giving me minimum room. Yeah, I'm in my lane. I gotta have a little bit of room to get off the exit here, or else I'm not gonna be able to make it. Like, he had room. He's fine. He gets a bump wrong, ends up in the wall, but... I mean, that's... He's got room. He didn't have to pinch me that tight. If he didn't pinch me so tight, he would have had a better angle on exit. So, I think I'm fine. He said something to me, I think. She says Colton. Mike! <laughs> I did nothing wrong. I can say Mike. Mike. Four into the wall. His tires fell off fast. That was kind of interesting. Oh, did he not pit that last time? Is that why some of the guys had older tires? I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I really paid attention to what tires everybody had. Some of them are saying 81, some of them are saying 92. I should probably be more aware of the situation, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, there's that nincompoop hitting the same part of the wall again for the third time. Ten cars got damage, he's just trying to finish it out. Not seeing anything there. Two's giving it everything he's got, he's trying to get the win. Not quite there. Oh, blowing motor in a very dangerous spot. I hope he has room to get down the track. Oh my goodness, that was very scary. Glad everybody was paying attention. Oh, and then this scary moment. That easily could have ended our race. If I, uh, you know, if I don't get down in anticipation of that, the 7 could have turned down into me. Because that's a reaction right there when a guy gets on the wall. You're not really looking most of the time if the guy's close behind you, or next to you there. So thankfully I gave room. Made sure I gave more than I needed to give, even. I mean, also the 7 might have not even reacted in time and got into the 4, and that could have sent anybody sideways into me. Like, that could have been really bad. Probably. 
I'm very thankful that uh, we made it around and made it through all that. Seven giving me negative room. <laughs> like I said, that's understandable completely. I was really nervous I was going to turn up into him, especially when the exit gets really tight. And so you'll see me like really come off low on the corners there. We kind of net code hit right there and it sends me sideways a little bit. <laughs> well, we hit a nice drag race to the line. That was pretty fun. So, uh, I imagine that's probably it. Ten's upset about something. Oh, wow, you showed him with your virtual race car and then hit somebody else. Watch your speed. And that'll do it. You got the three celebrating. Good win to him. So, P6. Fantastic. So happy with that. You know, I was going to accept a top 15 or so, top half of the field. Top 10 was a, a success for me, and I almost got a top 5. So I'm very happy with that result. We had some fun racing. Uh, Mike said my name, so I said his name <laughs> afterward. I don't know. Maybe there's something I did wrong there. I don't realize, but I feel like I held my land fine. I don't know. But uh, no hard feelings. Everyone's racing just as hard as they can at the end of this one. And... Uh, it was some pretty good fun, so I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you have a good one. I will see you next time.